Well, we heard about it before school even started. Um, it was like during our welcome week. I found the flyer on my uh, desk in class and I was like... I on the first day of school, yeah. very first day of school. Oh, it was? Yeah. And I took it to the library and I showed him, it was like, we're going to Africa. My cousin, she uh, actually was recruited by Cam and she told me about it and I decided to go. I was like sitting on the toilet and there's this bright orange poster yeah. and I was like, man, I'd rather be there than here. And I just kind of went with it. Yeah, same sort of thing. Saw the flyer and then I just went on the website and I was like, heck. Finals suck right now, so <laughs> but I heard it. I'm going to Africa. I'm going to Africa now. Um, and then I had a recruiter come to my school, and my friend was like, "Oh, we should go check it out." And I'm like, eh, "I don't really want to," but then I did it anyways. And then she was gonna come with me, and she backed out. So yeah, and I got stuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> New best friend. Way better. <laughs> yeah. It was the best way to have a chance to go in Africa. Yeah. Because when you have to go alone, it's kind of scary. Yeah. yeah. But no, best, but with a program way. like this, it's good. Yep, it's perfect. I just felt like you could go to Fiji or like the Amazon or like South Asia or like anytime you want. But like Africa is like one of those countries that you just don't get to go to often. So I was like, like why not? Like I had to go do something and experience a whole new culture other than like the one I'm so used to. So it was like a big like for me the motherland yeah it was definitely like the, the motherland in this africa it's just like you don't get to go there all the time learn more about their culture be more of like a different than where you're from um like i said before my friend really wanted to come here and africa was her first choice and at first i really wanted to go to fiji and she's like oh no go to africa we can go on safaris and stuff and i'm like yeah like the work sounds really fun in africa so yeah, here I am sitting on bunk bed. Here we are. I just really wanted to work with the Wildcats. I didn't know we only were gonna do it for one day, but here we are on a bunk bed. Definitely wow, the conservation so cool. stuff. I love working with animals and I really wanted to do that. I think Africa because it's more like it's like the big dream you have but you never think you yep. yeah, do it. And yeah. Yeah. It just seemed like the craziest of them all. Like, oh, yeah, I want to go to Africa. It was a hard choice. Like, I looked into all of them and I kind of narrowed it down. But Africa was my top because if I do start to travel when I get older, I don't think I would have never thought Africa would be a destination. So to get it like first one, biggest one over with, it's like great. Uh, I definitely surprised myself by doing the white water rafting. Um, also, I chased a monkey. While water rafting today, afterwards we kind of went rock climbing. Yeah, that was definitely That extreme. was extreme for me. Sulu dancing. Best house we ever had. I hate reptiles so much, so when I got to fall as like a baby alligator, I literally shit myself. I was so nervous. It was just, I did it, but like I was so fucking scared. I think I surprised myself by taking a crocodile in my hand. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I think the crocs were yeah, the scariest. Crocs. Like when we got there, I was like, mm, no, not yeah. getting it. <laughs> the enclosure was like, mm. Mm. Yeah, and at the end of the day, it was like, oh, crocs. Yeah, whatever, yeah. no big deal. Yeah. For me, it's different. Uh, I was scared to see the, the people here, like less, with less money than us. Yeah, the I, I, yeah. I was I was not sure at, at a time before here if I, I wanted to come or not because I didn't know if it would have affect me really hard but then yeah how I would have react to it because I I'm really sensitive and I cry a lot <laughs> but I'm really proud of myself that I overcome my fear. Even just waking up in the morning and like seeing this, that's awesome. It's a great way to start your day. I don't know. Or like we were saying earlier, we were horseback riding and 
it scenery like mountains and stuff and you kind of forget you're in Africa and then all of a sudden you'll be right next to a zebra and that's crazy because you never think you'll be that close to the and wildlife. now it's just like second nature too like it doesn't even phase us yeah it just seems normal yeah. I guess that's probably the craziest thing that it all seems normal <laughs> I love the safari, even though like a lot of people fall asleep on it, it was the like six hour one. Like it was just super peaceful and we got to see giraffes and lions and tons of zebras oh and <laughs> and what else was like something major that we saw? The beach day was awesome. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful, like mountains in the background, rippling waves, clear as day water, couldn't get over that. I'd say the landscapes. The landscapes are my favorite thing. The cheetah. The cheetah. Oh my god. The cheetah. <laughs> I love them. They're so cute. Getting to be in the pen with them was insane. Yeah. Especially getting to be in the pen with the older ones. That's getting to meet all these like wonderful people, like all like our team leaders, like and everybody like I've met like on this trip are like amazing. Like I wasn't expecting to like meet so many people and like make a ton of friends that I'm gonna like take back with me. So I'm Here super excited about that. And I think it's just so cool that like none of us knew each well a lot of us didn't know each other before we got here and in a week we're like <laughs> we're <You> twins. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite moment is when uh, we were drawing and then I draw a tree here in Africa and then I did another tree and, and it was a, a pine tree and it was like this is a tree in Canada and on every card I have I have a Canada tree <laughs> I'm playing with the kids all of them all the time how the how the people in the community act towards us and like mm -hmm. getting to know them and like re like remembering their names and like yeah, you know okay. like getting to know them on a personal level and like feeling like you actually are making a difference because it's like so different than like giving to charity or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like you get to see the impact of your work, like being that fat. It puts a face stuff. on it. Yeah. yeah, you're not just donating money, you're actually yeah. like contributing, like you're making a huge difference in their life. Yeah. So I felt good about that. It yeah. makes it so worth it. And you so see like the real Africa. Yeah. Not like it's not like being a tourist. It's yeah. like you're actually coming here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do stuff. I think my favorite was working in the Kula village um, and getting to know the people and how they live and their culture. I didn't feel like an outsider working for a few days. That was really awesome. Just getting to like experience like the whole culture of like like a, like, of, like Saint Lucia. Like all the people are super friendly. Um, I like doing construction and getting to see like the family that we're like building a house for and like seeing what they had before and what they have now and like what Vessa has done for like so many different places see how VESA has a role in the local economy and how respected the program yeah. is and like, we're well established. I feel like a celebrity, like everybody like waving to us yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Like, no. It was so nice. Yeah, like, it I never felt weird, scared though. like at all. Like, yeah. It was good. Yeah, it was good. Cool. Good. Cool. Good. Good. You're good. doing so cool. well. <laughs> <laughs> we were on a roll, guys. <laughs> Sorry, cut me out. <laughs> cut me out. If I had to pick a favorite rotation, I think I would have to pick construction because conservation was a lot more grunt work than you thought it was going to be and education was a lot less. And construction was, I mean, it was a lot of work, but it was also a lot of play with the kids and so it was a nice mixture of the two, I felt. Construction? And education were pretty even. I liked yeah. everything. Like, I didn't think I was gonna like the crocodiles, but mm -hmm. I loved the crocodiles. I thought they were so cool. I thought I was coming here just for conservation, and that was the least favorite. It was weird. Yeah, I was like terrified of construction, but we had so much fun. That's so the thing. fun. Like, I actually loved it because yeah. I was like so worried for construction, and then we're painting, and I'm like, love it. I could do this. <laughs> I can do this all day. I can fucking work like hard labor. I should just get that kind of job when I get home. Construction is definitely the best because we got to do like hands on things. The weather was amazing. I got to paint, which is like right up my alley. And we got to see the children. Yeah, I didn't know we'd get to be we'd be able to see, meet the family and everything, so that was really cool. It I made it more personal. Yeah, I like seeing who we were building for. Oh, I can't pick. I just love conservation, man. That's like what I live for. Education was Sweet. amazing, though. Like, 
We ended up starting on a weekend, so we didn't go to school the first day. We just experienced the orphanage with all the other kids who go to school and all the kids that just come and hang out with those kids who aren't even actually like staying there. And there had to be 50, 60 yeah, of them yeah. from the ages of three to 12. Mm -hmm. And it was just, you got to experience like, their smiles and they love to dance. We had a dance party. We had this major <laughs> dance party. I got it all on tape. It was great. And like, I don't know, just they love you. Yeah, they're so happy even though their situation is so sad. Education and construction for me were like this because I, I didn't think I would like being with the kids, but I really liked them and yeah, playing with them. And you like the construction? No, the conservation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, conservation. The cheetahs were no, my favorite. Those were my favorite. favorite. The cheetah reserve was so nice because they had like lots of room and like they were like being like rehabilitation, mm -hmm. like they're getting mm -hmm. better. Yeah. I like the idea that they have the goal of releasing them into the wild yeah. and I like seeing the wild animals like on and like being able to take pictures of them and like take them home to show people but like to tell people that they're wild animals and that they're not like the whole like you have to act like you respect them like you can't mm -hmm. just you know like like throw sticks at them and shit like people do yeah. at zoos like you hit the fence like you, they'll eat you.